Ha 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 ho ho. <laughs> Hi there, and welcome to day 258 of my 365 days of laughter every day. <laughs> it's been quite a journey if you go back and look over the videos. <laughs> And you know, in many of those videos, I am feeling in pain, physically, emotionally, responding to other people and to my own. And I think that's the beautiful thing about the human condition is that we can empathize with each other. We can hold the space. <laughs> And there's nothing nicer than laughing with a friend. <laughs> or crying with a friend. Or just making space for a friend to laugh or cry with you. Without trying to give them solutions or solve their problems. Just being with them. And we can also be friends to ourselves, you know. <laughs> and the friendly thing that we can do is to practice well-being and the practice of well-being <laughs> is actually a lot about being centered heart centered heart centered heart ah. <laughs> having a heart for yourself for what you're going through and for what other people are going through that is a beautiful thing and I feel today for a very precious friend of mine who has a difficult prognosis on top of all the other things and it's not a laughing matter but because I have the practice of laughter yoga I'm able to hold myself without being too reactive, too disturbed, too upset. And then I can be a better friend in that way, respecting and holding and loving that space. So just remember, you have to be a friend to yourself first, and then you can be a friend to others. <laughs> and a friendly endeavor is to practice laughter yoga because it enables us to handle whatever's coming, and whatever's there. And in the moment, in this moment, relief through laughter yoga. For health, happiness and world peace. Keep laughing, it's good for you <laughs> and your friends. <laughs>